Hey, welcome everybody to my channel. This is Mark Taylor Canfield. And uh, this is my Marshall amp over here. I just wanted to play you some of my music there for a minute. Felt good. Because it's been a great day. It's a beautiful day in Seattle. And that's one of the things that people ask me uh, to talk about is, what is it like living in Seattle? So that's kind of what this live stream is about. And... I like living in Seattle. I just walked by the Space Needle and that building never ceases to amaze me uh, ever since I came to Seattle. It's just, it's just cool. It's, it's one of the coolest buildings in the world as far as I'm concerned. The Space Needle, I expect it to take off and fly away at any moment. That Jetson's flying saucer up there. So. I walk by it every day. It always blows my mind. It did again tonight. We were down on the lake. Uh, living on a lake is great in the middle of the city. That's always fun. But this city is also about rock and roll. And as I was walking home, I was thinking about that. You know, where does that grittiness come from? Where did the Jimi Hendrix licks come from? Where did the, the grunge rock lick, rock style come from? And Seattle is a, is a beautiful city. There's a lot of green trees here and beautiful water. But um, it's also a city. It's a very large city. There are huge towers here, skyscrapers. Um, some of the engineering here is just mind-blowing. The huge ships that come in and out of here and, the, and Boeing, of course, and the the jet planes that are coming in and out of here all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, I like it. It's fun. It's it's big. Um, so you can sort of lose yourself in the crowd. You can kind of lose yourself in all the architecture and industry around here. But where does a lot of rock and roll come from, right? Where does that grittiness come from? It comes from walking down the street and seeing graffiti and barbed wire and metal fences. Empty lots. A few people down on their luck. So you see that every day and you feel it. So of course it's going to come out in your music like it does with mine, right? Uh, that's the sound of the city. That's, uh, like I said, the barbed wire and the metal fences and the graffiti and the edge that you always find in a city, uh, especially in very industrial cities, but, but everywhere. I like cities because you never run out of things to do, right? There's always a new bar you haven't been to. There's always a new restaurant you haven't tried. There's always someone you haven't met. When I get to a very small town, I get nervous and I feel strange because I feel immediately boxed in and sort of limited. So I like cities because they are a bit anonymous and it's kind of, can be kind of intimidating too sometimes, you know, but it's the city. That's where a lot of the grittiness of rock and roll comes from. You know, my baby got me upset, I've done it, I'm mad. 
She's digging me up for everything that I had Running through town and then she comes back She got Van Halen wailing on the stereo we track Watch out baby that's what I said Cause there's a red light roadblock bridge out ahead God, I knew he'd understand He said, stick by me, I'll be your guiding hand Don't ask me what I think of you Cause I might not give the answer that you want me to That's where the rock and roll comes from, folks. Is the traffic and the lights and the noise and the danger. Buses running through red lights while people are in the crosswalk. Someone, Johnny, shooting up in, on the bus, in the back of the bus, on the way downtown. People living on the streets. People who have had it rough. All of us are thrown into the middle of it, so you sink or swim. And some folks are lucky and have an art form or something that uh, people like, and you can sustain yourself in all of this. But I am sort of a rock and roll journalist, so these are the things I think about on a daily basis is, you know, where does the grittiness of rock and roll and blues come from? So I think we all know if you can't play the blues till you paid your dues. I feel so low down, I just know what to do. So Anyway, I think you got the feel of it from the sound of my, my guitar, the gritty, woeful sounds. She's always speaking to me, and I love her very much. Um, and I love that Marshall amp sound, tube amp sound. But yeah, I've just these are the things I've been thinking about, and I just want to do a quick video and uh, shout out to all the people who are subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support, and um, I'm going to keep making these little videos because this is my lifestyle in Seattle. And I was just thinking, you know, people ask me, "What's Seattle like?" Well, it's a beautiful city, a lot of rock and roll, a lot of rock clubs, a lot of rock bands. Um, it's got its gritty side. It's got his it's upscale side. It's got his down home side, and um, it's got his futuristic side for sure. So, all in all, I like it. It's a good place to live. Um, compared to most cities in the United States, it's got a cool culture. It's uh, very progressive and open-minded. Loves rock and roll. So. So that's the kind of place I like, right? And I fit in well. A lot of individualists. This is Mark Taylor Kempfield of Seattle saying hi to you all. Keep doing the rock and roll. Keep uh, kicking out the jams, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel, like it, and share it with your friends. This is Mark Taylor Kempfield, the rock and roll journalist in Seattle. 
scene. Peace out, y'all.